Well, hi everybody, it's Doc Miles here again. And today I want to talk to you about time-lapse photography. But not time-lapse photography with a DSLR, time-lapse photography with the latest versions of the iPhone. Now, I've been taking time-lapse photography with the iPhone for a couple of months now, and I've learned quite a few things that maybe Apple doesn't really want you to know or they haven't publicized it. For example, a regular DSLR, if you shoot a time-lapse, you get to choose on the back of the camera or in a separate intervalometer, they call it, how many seconds, how long you want your video to be, how many seconds between shots. For example, if you're going to shoot a 30 second video and you want to shoot one frame every three seconds, you'll get a video that lasts about 30 seconds. If you want to shoot plants growing, you can shoot one frame every eight hours and shoot for over 30 days. You can set all these features in a DSLR. You can't do that on the iPhone. All you can do is set the time-lapse feature and let it on a tripod or some sort of stabilization device, just let it go for as long as you want it to go. However, here's what I want to tell you. No matter how long you make your time-lapse, there's a dynamic feature inside the time-lapse camera on the iPhone that's going to limit the amount of shots per second and how long that video will be. And that's because Apple believes that everybody's attention span is just about 30 seconds and anything more than that, and you've lost your audience. So let's dive into this and find out how this works. So let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. Over here you have a screenshot of where the time lapse is. So if you go to your camera on an iPhone and you scroll to the far to the left, you'll see this time lapse feature. You only have two controls, basically the time lapse button itself and whether it's a 2x or two times using the optical zoom. Or you could do a selfie, and I don't know why you'd want to do a selfie time lapse. Maybe you were at the dentist and you want to do a time lapse of the dental procedure. <laughs> uh, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, Apple believes that it's an efficient way to assemble a time lapse. When you start recording a time lapse, the app only, ca app only captures two frames a second. If the recording period extends beyond 10 minutes, then the recording doubles. So you get one frame every second, and so forth and so on. It goes all the way up to one hour and 20 minutes, one frame every eight seconds. The result is that of using this method of dynamic interface, that anything you shoot will generally end up being between 20 and 40 seconds, an ideal shareable length. Also worth mentioning, the resulting video is always 30 frames a second, which is standard uh, when you are watching normal MP4 video. So let me show you how this actually worked for me and what prompted me to do the research on this. I shot a one hour video the other night of the sunset. I went to a place where I thought this guy would be nice and I went back and set it all up on a tripod, went back in my car, and when I got finished with the video after sitting in the car for an hour and watching the sunset, I got in and I looked on the phone and it lasted 20 seconds. Now I knew I had this set up for over an hour. What happened to my video? Well, if you look at the chart, one hour and 20 minutes or 40 minutes to an hour, it's gonna do a frame every four seconds and so I'm only going to get a 20 second video. So that's it. That's how it works on the iPhone, totally different from a DSLR. So I encourage you to go out and play around with it I use it a lot. For example, I'll show you one I did uh, the following morning, and this one's pretty cool. Um, it's a time lapse of the Golden Gate Bridge, the fog. It looks pretty good, and it's a 30 second video. I, I had it set up for 30 minutes, and you can see the frames going by here. Uh, it was probably one frame every second, which is okay because you, you want the traffic to look like it's flowing and not herky jerky, except for the people walking around down below. That's how the iPhone time-lapse feature works. If you like it, try it. It's a lot of fun. I use it all the time. Say, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button, and I do a lot of these videos, everything photography from Lightroom, Photoshop, equipment, and even the iPhone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.